Yo, what is up Zombie Nation? It's your boy Dame and welcome back to a brand new video of your source for COD Zombies news, zombie information and everything that you need to know about zombies. Guys, if you haven't checked out my early access gameplay as of yet, make sure to go and check that one out before you watch this video. Link is in the description. There is also a link on screen right now. Go and click it. Not only that, if you leave a like on this video, subscribe to this channel and go and follow me over on Twitter at Damon at Game. You will be in for a chance to win your very own The Beast from Beyond poster, a DLC4 poster, and it looks absolutely awesome. Homies, if you know around here, don't forget to hit that little bell so you're notified of exactly of when I upload. Now before I get into this actual video, I have to put a disclaimer on here, just in case someone from Infinity Ward or Activision is watching. As you may know, I have had early access and found out a lot of information about this game which is not public and I am fully aware I am in embargo to not share any of this knowledge. Any of the information in today's video has already been made public whether it is on Reddit or other sources around the internet which include any pictures or details that have been taken from the code in the latest title update. But homies, with all that out of the way with, let's get straight into that video. So all the stories today are going to be a bit chaos when it comes to order, but I will try and do my best in putting them in some order. But the first story today, Director's Cut. As some of you may know or may already seen, Lee Ross had a stream the other day on Infinity Ward on Twitch, giving away some valid information about the brand new up and coming game mode called Director's Cut. Now Director's Cut is being coined as the super Easter egg. So you're gonna have to have collected every single soul key from every single map and you will actually be able to play Director's Cut. Now within this game mode you will spawn in with a particular weapon, not a pistol as he made a big pun about on stream, but you're gonna spawn in with some awesome weapons. You're also gonna be able to spawn in with all the perks. So yes, we can finally use Dead Eye Dewdrops on Zombies in Spaceland. The dream is real. Not only that, another feature that I've implemented is the fact that you can actually toggle this on and off. So you can turn it on and off. So if you're midway through the game and you don't want to use all the perks, you can actually turn this off. Which I don't understand why you would turn it off in the first place. But you can do that if you want. Now Lee does go on to explain about Director's Mode that you're going to have to battle all the way through Director's Mode and there's going to be extra Easter eggs within this particular mode which is absolutely awesome. He has given no details on what the Easter eggs actually are as of yet but there are going to be some added. He's also going to add some more context to the story that we do not know yet about the actual game. So Director's Cut will actually be the original five maps. So you're going to have to play through Zombies in Space and Raven Redwoods, all the maps all over again. But this time round it's going to be one hell of a different experience. Now as for main rewards for actually completing Director's Cut mode, we are not sure. But the boss fight has been leaked. There's an image on screen now that this has been shared publicly. I did have somebody else, one of my sources, an unknown source, that actually gave this particular image to me. But you can see there is going to be an extra boss fight coined. Mephistopheles. Yes, we're finally going to meet Mephistopheles. Throughout the whole game, we have talked about Mephistopheles being the higher power of the devil that made a deal with Willard Wyler and had his souls where we're actually going to be fighting him, which is absolutely awesome. Lee does also go over a few other points in this live stream. Willard Wyler is confirmed. Shock, shock, horror. I told you. I'm just saying. I told you. I told you. Some voice files have also been linked as well. So David Hasselhoff will become the voiceover whilst playing as Willard Wyler. And it's obvious if you're going to fight Mephistopheles, the one, the devil that actually took Willard Wyler's soul, there's going to be no better person to actually fight him than fighting as Willard Wyler. There's also one more thing that Lee touches in this live stream about something coming towards the end of the month. Now there's only one thing I can say about this. I've seen it. And <laughs> let me tell you, this is not the end of Infinite Warfare Zombies. There is so much more to come, you have no idea. And it's so much more than you could ever imagine. So the next story today, the level cap has been raised for Infinite Warfare Zombies to level 999. I had to give a big shout out to my boy Slick Killer for providing this actual image for me. Thank you Slick, much appreciated my dude. Make sure to go hit my sub, show him some love. Now there's a lot of people saying, why not level 1000? And I'm pretty much saying the same thing as well. 999 is 
you know, it's the British emergency number. There's nothing special about 999, though 666 would have fit Mephistopheles a lot better. But there is rumour. I have not seen any information on this. This is just rumour which I've heard from very, very reliable sources that there is going to be a level 1000. Now I know Slick Killer would have had so much more XP to get into that level 1000, so I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be a point based thing if there is indeed a level 1000. But just keep that in mind, I think there might be a level 1000. If it happens, it happens. If it don't, level 999 is now the brand new level cap. So if like me, you're still rocking in the 700s or you're still all the way back down in the 200s, you still got plenty of more grinding to do. And the last story today, two secret calling cards have been leaked for Infinite Warfare Zombies. Now one of them we already know about is the Mephistopheles calling card. That is classed as a secret calling card, but there's actually another one leaked as well. Now this is going all the way around Reddit and Twitter. I've got my source from somebody else, but y'all thought the Yeti Eye Easter Egg was a thing of the past? Well you're wrong. It seems like there is still hope for the Yeti Eye Easter Egg. As you can see on screen now is the image of one of the brand new secret calling cards. It's a Yeti. He's saying you deal with it and he has on the glasses. The glasses you'll actually pick up in Zombies in Spaceland. Now there's no more details on this and I was still coining this a super easter egg so it seems like there's two super easter eggs in the game one of them being collecting all the soul keys to be able to unlock director's cut then be able to complete all that and then you're going to be able to fight the mephistopheles boss so that is the first main super easter egg but it also seems like the yeti eye is also going to be a super easter egg as well as it is referenced in other maps not just zombies in spaceland it's also referenced in shaolin shuffle on the nunchuck tv easter egg a certain channel has the yeti eye on there nothing's been found in rave or attack of the radioactive thing as yet but just the connection between shaolin shuffle and zombies in spaceland makes me feel like it's bigger than just zombies in spaceland not only that this could be something that is only available in director's cut and that's why it was hinted at so early on that might have been the mistake to actually hint it all the way back in zombies in spaceland since it was going to be added into the director's cut where you have to basically do the first super easter egg to be able to do the second super easter egg or it could just be a simple easter egg inside director's cut itself but either way the yeti eye easter egg has been confirmed as a thing it is still in the game it is going to be unlockable when it comes out to playstation 4 and i'm really really excited to finally get to the bottom of this freaking roller coaster aka yeti aka ice monster easter egg because it's been a long time wait to actually get to the bottom of this and unfortunately that's all the news i've got time for for today i'd just like to apologize i know some of this news you've probably already heard i've had a very very busy week some of this information i already knew about ages ago and i just have not had time to actually make this video let alone upload it i'm actually gonna have to go to a hotel right now a different one to the one i'm staying in to actually just upload this actual video so i do apologize for the lack of content the lack of news but you do come here for your source of iw zombie content so i feel obliged to actually cover this no matter if it's already been covered by somebody else already but i hope this video added some extra information information you may not already know about by now the next content you'll see from me is probably a couple of tutorials how to turn a power on and pack a punch i can't upload those just yet so i'll probably upload them about an hour before the game actually releases so make sure to subscribe and hit that little bell so you're notified when i upload so you can get that tutorial straight away and of course if you hit that subscribe button as well you're going to be entered in for a chance to win one of those brand spanking new dlc4 posters emblem of the day goes to my boy gabe the pie guy over on twitter posted me a tweet and it read at game in that game thought i'd try making an emblem here's one i made of angry neil as shown in the beast from beyond teaser hashtag zombie news emblem and it's neil is an angry face neil which is also showed in the actual teaser of course for the beast from beyond freaking amazing dude really fits well with this particular video make sure to go and show my guy some love please homies if you want to be in for your own chance to be featured in one of my zombie news videos please make sure to send me your best emblems to my twitter at damon at game make sure to use the hashtag emblem of the day it makes it a lot easier for me to find i get so many emblems that they just get lost hashtag emblem of the day when i type that on twitter i'll be able to find all your emblems easy as that 
But homies, if you've been absolutely awesome, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to go down there and make that thumb blue. Turn on those notifications. Enjoy the rest of your day, evening, or morning. But homies, this has been another episode of Your Source. For COD Zombies news, the zombie information, and everything that you need to know about zombies. And until the next video, this is your boy Dane.